Hello, you're yeah, right. Mr. Palmer here. I um, hope you've had a really good Easter and you're not too uh, too bored at home. So, what I'm going to do now is every lesson that I kind of provide for you and every lesson I put on show my homework, I'm going to do a little bit of a slideshow to kind of help you with the work and to kind of explain what I want you to do. So this next lesson, Rivers Lesson 2, is all about the river's long profile. This kind of carries on from Rivers Lesson 1. So before we start looking at that, I just want to explain the instructions and expectations of this work that you're continuing to do at home. So, all the work that you do, please can you either complete it on line paper or... I'll accept plain paper if that's what you've got, or you can do it on Microsoft Word. So just do it as a typed document. When you've finished all of that work, you need to submit it on Show My Homework. So you should have an option where you can submit any work, and that can be either as a photo, it can be as a um, the document if you've done it on Microsoft Word. Any way you can, just please submit that work so that me and the other geography teachers can see what you've been doing, okay? When you finish that, you then need to complete the quiz, which will follow on after the, each lesson. So, in this lesson, uh, Rivers Lesson 2, you're going to complete kind of four tasks. It's kind of very similar to what you've been doing already. Task 1 is going to be to do a little bit of like a drawing, a bit of annotation. Task two is going to be um, some questions. Task three, a little bit of research. And task four is the quiz. Okay. So on with what I want you to be doing in this lesson. And this lesson is all about rivers and the river along profile. So in front of you there on the screen, you can see that there is a kind of a, what we call the river along profile. The river starts, as you already know from the first lesson, with the source and it ends with the river's mouth. And in between, we've got some other features as well, which you've learnt about. What we're going to focus, though, is on the shape of the river and the shape of the valley in the different kind of parts of the river. So, a river will always start with the source and end with the mouth. The source of the river will always be in highland areas. So, you know, places maybe like the Peak District, the Lake District, Snow, uh, Snowdonia in Wales. That will be the sources of rivers. The mouth of the river will always be in lowland areas. So this will be kind of the areas next to the coast. So, you know, we've got Preston, which is quite close to us, which is in a lowland area right next to where the River Ribble is. And that is where the mouth of the River Ribble enters the Irish Sea. So all of these, the, the mouths of the rivers are always in the lowland areas. And we split the long profile of the river into three sections. So the upper course, which is the highland areas, the mountains, the hills, the middle course, which is kind of somewhere in between so it's a little bit hilly and it's not really flat so Blackburn is a perfect example really of like a an area which is in the middle course and then the lower course is at the very bottom okay so that is the river long profile so just to recap it starts with the source in the highland areas the middle course gets slightly less kind of hilly but still slightly undulating a bit like Blackburn and the lower course really flat so what your first task is going to be for this kind of lesson is to draw the cross profiles. So a cross profile is kind of like we've split the, um, the river so we can kind of see inside it. And you can see there's three kind of diagrams that I want you to draw. Diagram A on the screen is showing um, the upper course of the long profile. So you can see that's what it would look like in real life. If you were to go up to a highland area, hilly area, you would see a V-shaped valley and that's kind of what I'm trying to show in that diagram there. V-shaped valley with a small kind of river going through the middle and it says below the diagram they are steep-sided V-shaped and the river is narrow, shallow 
and turbulent, which means that the water kind of does has the appearance of moving quite quickly, but because it's moving over lots of rocks and stuff, it looks quite turbulent. Diagram B, so now we're looking at the middle course and you can see from the um, the picture that's on the on the screen, if I just get the laser up, you can see that at the sides here and here, it's still slightly hilly, but we've got now started to get this area of flat land in between, okay? This area of flat land is what we call the floodplain, and we'll see that this actually gets bigger when we get down to the lower course. So it's still got some hills at the side, but it starts to get a bit more flat land as well. And the river also starts to get wider and a little bit deeper as well. Right, and the last um, cross profile is the lower course. So now, in the lower course, the river is really wide, and you can't really see in the picture, but it'll also be really deep. And the valley is very, very wide and extremely flat. So there's next to no hills there, extremely wide valley, and that is called the floodplain. Okay, so if we now link this into the long profile, you can see the first diagram sits at the top there. That's what you'd find at that bit of stream. That's what the valleys would look like, and that's what the river would look like. In the middle course, the floodplain starts to get a little bit wider. We've still got some kind of valley sides, some still got some hills. And then in the lower course, extremely flat, extremely wide. Okay, so that is how the river changes from the upper course to the lower course. Why want to do this information? So, task one, you're going to draw the three river cross sections and describe their features. Task two, there's one question here, but on the instruction sheet, the, the Word document that's also attached, there's a couple more questions as well. So task two is a, a, a few questions for you to complete based on what uh, you've done in task one. And task three is a little bit of research. So what rivers are close to us in Blackburn? So you can use Google Maps to help you. So kind of what rivers go through Blackburn? Um, where do those rivers start? You could even look further afield, what rivers are maybe in Lancashire, okay? Maybe look a bit further out than Blackburn and have a look at the rivers that are around us. Um, get a good bit of research for you to do really to kind of get to know our local area a bit more. Word of warning though, do not write about the Leeds Liverpool Canal because that's not a river, okay? That's kind of a man-made feature which was made during the Industrial Revolution to kind of transport goods between Leeds and Liverpool and from Blackburn as well. So focus just on rivers, please. And then when you've done all of that, take a picture, submit a Word document, submit it to show my homework so that I can see what you have done and your other teachers can see what you have done. Please also, for Rivers Lesson 1, you should also be able to submit work for Rivers Lesson 1 as well. Okay, So make sure you've got those two bits of work submitted. When you've done that, please complete the Show My Homework quiz, which will be labelled Rivers Lesson 2 quiz. Okay, And then you've got all of that stuff done. Um, I hope this has been uh, clear, but um, all the instructions are in the Word document as well. Have a good week and hopefully see you soon.